Henry Cavill returns to the DCEU. Yep. Cavill and his fans have been advocating for his return to DC Superman for a long, long time. But it isn't until now that it seems that the Man of Steel star may actually grab the cape from the closet and don the red and blue tights once again in the sequel to the Superman film. Many rumors have suggested that Dwayne The Rock Johnson has heard the cries from the fans that want more Cavill in the DCEU. Constantly teasing that Superman will appear in his upcoming Black Adam movie similar to how the two heroes met at the end of these spoilers, DC's <laughs> League of Super Pets. So, Joy, what do you think about the, the idea of Henry Cavill coming back to the DC? The more Cavill, the better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's exactly what my thought was. I don't know a lot of people who are going to say no to that. Right? I'm, I'm gay, and I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> Why, why, do do tell, uh, Joy. Why do you say the more the better? Because Cavill's a f well. I mean, he's fantastic in a lot of things, but uh -huh. Superman. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's been missing for a long time, so people are like, we need him to come back. Yeah, yeah. Without complaint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Interesting. What about <laughs> what about you, Taz? What do you think about the news that that Henry Cavill is back in the DCEU? Well, I'm not short of my Henry Cavill time because I do watch, like, <laughs> The Witcher every night. Mm. Um, but I am not going to be sad about getting to see him more. I like him. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Uh, so the news uh, that's coming out is that Henry Cavill, um, as, I mean, it, it's, it's a secret that they tried to keep, but Dwayne was hinting towards it over and over again. And um, it's something that, that fans have been kind of asking for. Fans have kind of been on the fence about it. First, they, they loved the, the shit on the whole Man of Steel thing about how Superman doesn't kill and, he doesn't, and this Superman isn't smiling enough and this and all these complaints. Then you went a couple of years without Superman at all. Now it's like people, you know, they, if you don't know what you got until yeah. it's gone uh, uh, kind of a situation. So it's like now <clears throat> people are, are wondering, are, are like happy that, that he's that he's back. People are, are, are happy to hear that, that Superman is uh, coming into Black Adam, that they, the rumors are, well, not even a rumor, it's all over uh, YouTube, and it's, it's one of those, it's an end credit uh, scene, yeah. where, like, just like it was in the League of, of Super Pets, that, um, that he's in the, the movie. And it's not one of those things that I, don't get, that, I, that I care if I get spoiled about. It doesn't have anything to do with the story. It's, it's just that I'm happy to hear that that he's back because I think he makes a uh, a great Superman. I think I think that he's uh, pretty good. Any yeah. Any uh, any follow ups on that? Any no, comments? I agree. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, I've always thought. Yeah. I'm still a you know, I'm old school. Mm -hmm. So I Christopher Reeves back in the day, and he really it hits that same mark yes, in my mind too. Yeah, so. absolutely. Because yeah. he he even plays it yes. similar in that way. Yeah. You know, and so I can see where that's the appeal as well. Yeah. I, I think I thought Christopher Reese played the like the epitome of what Superman is, the best. But the modern version of what Superman is like today, I think Henry Cavill kept captures yeah. that that uh, pretty uh, well. Superman with chest hair, man, that peeks out from the top. I mean, come on. That's, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. So we haven't seen uh, Black Adam yet, but it's out uh, today. I was thinking about probably going to see it tonight, but you probably want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up very early today. You gotta yeah. go to bed early tonight. So we won't check it out uh, tonight. So we'll check it out. We'll do a review on it. Maybe we'll go tomorrow and go uh, see that. So if you guys have already seen uh, the new Black Adam movie, let me know what you think about it. Is it any good? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, then let me know how super, how Cavill looked uh, in his little end credit uh, scene. This is like, oh no, no, punch him in the face. I'm, like, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna go down. It's probably gonna go down exactly the way it went down in uh, the, that cartoon. Just Hey, Black Adam. Hey, Superman. You know, <laughs> is it cool that we both have the same manager? Who is The Rock's ex-wife, by the way? Still what? The, still his manager. They I didn't are, know that. They are still working together. Yeah, and that's what? that's that's still his manager. Well, and hell, she's that's also some Henry Cavill's manager. That's some trust in like. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's the that I wouldn't. Say, well, I I would say it. Uh, he probably wouldn't say. He probably would get in trouble for saying it. But I think that's still the love, like the lovers. Probably. I mean, they just couldn't. Work. Obviously, when I feel like, and this is off topic, obviously what he went through as a wrestler probably kind of, it, it, being a wrestler will test your marriage. I'll just put it, I'll, that's all I'll say. There's, <laughs> there's a rare case, 
cases where people just realize we work better as friends right. and mm -hmm. yeah. work partners versus, Booty buddies. you know. They work through the fact that that love is just altered and changed yeah. to a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that is admirable because it's not often anymore. Mm -hmm. Right. But, you don't see but, it too often, but yeah, it happens. It definitely does happen. I know, especially, I see it on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a few. On well, there. all lesbians are friends with their exes. So, uh, it's like learn, a thing. Well, some other celebrities, new, like uh, uh, Joe Coy is still very close friends with his ex-wife. Yeah. Um, Wayne Brady is still very close friends with his ex-wife and her, like, current husband. Like, they're all kind of... Yeah. It's always the joke that it's, like, the lesbian red flag if they're still, <laughs> like... I actually went on, like, was trying to talk to this one chick who, like, legitimately was still living with her ex and then trying That's to... Granted, she kind of, I was like, um, I think we're going to be good. I'll talk to you later. Wow. <laughs> Figure your shit out. Now, I'm not trying to imply <laughs> that, that's, that that's what uh, is going on over there at the Rock House. I'm like, I'm just, it's just kind of cool that they're still uh, working together. You know, I mean, I'm not going to imply that anything else is going on. I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't be surprised. I'm just, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. Uh, but, uh. Guys, let us know what you We went way off topic on that one. Let us know what you guys think about the fact that Black Adam, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment, has finally worked his magic and said, hey, I want my friend Henry Cavill back in the DCU. And now it looks like uh, the, the fans are getting what they want until they get it. And then they're going to probably complain about it later and say something's too woke or something and then mess it all up for everybody. But let us know what you guys think about that. All right, let's move on to.